Well, neighboring countries are warning North Korea to refrain from further provocations. Of course, this in response to Pyongyang's possible ballistic missile launch movement. That regime, however, does not look like it will follow suit with the international community's concern as it threatens to further develop nuclear technology. Our correspondent in charge of North Korean affairs, Connie Kim. If North Korea fires a missile this time, it's speculated to have a range of at least 3,000 kilometers, covering Japan, and Tokyo is not happy. Speaking to reporters on Thursday, Japan's defense minister Gen Nagatani said it cannot deny the possibility that North Korea will carry out additional provocations and will put on the lookout. Japanese Chief Cabinet Secretary Yoshihide Suga also said Tokyo is collecting information on the North's nuclear and ballistic missiles with its self defense forces in ready position. Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov also had his words for Pyongyang. Delivering a speech at the Mongolian Foreign Ministry, Lavrov said he hopes Pyongyang will listen to the voice of reason and refrain from taking additional irresponsible steps. North Korea isolated itself from the international community even more with its nuclear and ballistic missile tests early this year, and it seems like Pyongyang will continue to go with such provocations. A spokesman for the Disarmament and Peace Institute of North Korea's foreign ministry said Pyongyang's access to nuclear weapons is an inevitable option for the self defense and protection of the state from the nuclear disaster that may be caused by the U.S. This was a response to Washington's warning to impose harsher sanctions than the recently imposed UN sanctions, inferring Pyongyang will not be showing efforts to give up its nuclear ambitions anytime soon. Connie Kim, Arirang News.